The mathematician Fibonacci is best known for his sequence of numbers. Starting with the numbers 0 and 1, the next number in the Fibonacci sequence is found simply by adding the previous two numbers. Interestingly, the way Fibonacci discovered his sequence was looking at pairs of rabbits and the rate at which they reproduce. To see more and play around with an example of that, visit the link in my video. It is a very cool application that allows you to put in the generation of rabbits, see how they reproduce, and actually see the Fibonacci sequence start to form. Perhaps the coolest thing about the Fibonacci sequence is, however, the amount of times that it occurs in nature. Let's look at some examples. Probably most of us have never taken the time to carefully examine the number of petals on a flower. If we did, several things would become apparent. First, we would find that the number of petals on a flower is very often one of the Fibonacci numbers. There are one petal flowers. Two petaled flowers are not common, but they do exist. Three petals are more common. There are literally hundreds of species with five petals. And we can keep going. Eight, 13, 21. This picture here is actually of a daisy, and daisies are actually quite common with Fibonacci numbers and petals. Different variations of daisies can have 13, 21, 34, 55, or 89 petals. And finally, here is a picture of a daisy with 34 petals. As I said, we keep going. There are flowers with more than this, and every one of these numbers are Fibonacci sequences. Yes, some flowers exist that do not follow the Fibonacci sequence, but the majority of the flowers do. Normally at this point, students I have say, it's just a coincidence. Let's look at some more examples. Keep in mind, although the idea is correct here, the example won't be perfect. Trees have obvious factors that will influence their growth, such as weather and us humans. If we look at this tree, we see the bark, the, the trunk right here is obviously one. There's one trunk. If we go up a little bit into the tree, we see that at this level right here, the one branch grows out. We have a total of two branches. Up a little higher, where the next branch grows out, one, two, three. Up a little further, one, two, three, four, five. It gets a little harder to see from here. So I'm going to leave the next one to you as a challenge. See if you can find where on the tree there are eight branches. If you're feeling very ambitious, I don't even know for sure if you'll be able to see it from my picture, try to find the next level of 13. One of my favorite examples of the Fibonacci numbers in nature is actually, believe it or not, bees. To distinguish between the male and the female bees in this example, I've given the male bees beards and goatees, or mustaches in general. Obviously, male bees in nature don't have these, but for this example, let's just pretend they do. If a female lays an unfertilized an egg and it is not fertilized, it hatches into a male bee. If the egg is fertilized by a male, it hatches into a female bee. So, let's start off with one male bee. If we go up this family tree, it would obviously have one female parent. So there is one parent. That female bee, a female bee has one male, and one female parent. So we have two bees. Our female bee has one male, one female, which gives us three bees in this line of our family tree. Going up one more, our female has one male, one female. Our male has one female. And our other male has one, female. our other female has one male, one female, which gives us a total of five in this generation. If we keep going out, well, what we have right now, one, one, two, three, five, which is our old friend, the Fibonacci sequence. If we keep going up further, the sequence will keep continuing. Hopefully the things that I have shown you have been new and interesting. I personally love teaching this unit because every one of you have been asking, why do I need to know math? When is math used? and the Fibonacci sequence appears so many times in nature, it's just simply amazing. There's so many more examples than the ones I showed you. If you're interested, a simple Google search will bring up so many more, and I hope you enjoyed my video.